So when you look at the market today, apps are divided into a dichotomy between media-centric apps, either personal libraries where you can store your own content, or broadcast apps where you can take photos, stylize them, and share them to a very large audience. There's a gap in between where it's very difficult to connect within small groups and share media and interact around it in a private context. That gap is filled by chat apps today. So a chat app lets you connect with a small number of people and post text messages, photos, and videos back and forth. But the limitation of the chat model is that it's linear. You can only post one thing after another, and you can only talk about one thing at a time. So if you imagine getting together with your friends or family on a trip and taking a lot of photos, you want to share those memories and exchange photos so you can keep them uh, for your archival. So a chat app is actually not the best way to do that. So if you want to be able to connect with friends and family and exchange media and have that be a part of your archive memories, then you really want that to be a part of your media app. So we think that an opportunity that, uh, that is really right to capture here is to combine media and communication into a unified experience that makes it really easy for you to organize, browse, and share your media uh, across both private groups and public social networks. So in the real world, your social groups have different contexts. So if you try to combine everybody into one flat network, then you start to think of it as a public audience. You, you are kind of a different person in relation to your family than you are to your close friends, than you are to a group of people that you don't necessarily know. And so what we want to do is actually let you capture those contexts digitally so that you can share within that specific context and then the comments that people have on those photos are going to be relevant within that social context. So you're not always having these private conversations in a public setting. Sometimes you want to share, often you want to share, the highlights of your trip or the best photos that you took on a social network or publicly. And that's great. And you should be able to do that from your media app. Though some of those photos you want to share might come from other people. So there's the step before you share on a social network to your friends where you might want to get photos from your friends who are there uh, as well. And, and that's something that I think you can get uh, by adding this missing layer between personal media and social networks. So another thing is if I send you photos via email or via texting, you're going to get those and you're going to be able to reply to my message. But what happens to the media after that? So it's going to scroll away into the history of the chat, never to be seen again. I think that if you can share media to a specific group, you've already done all of this work. So the recipients should automatically have those photos incorporated into the media library. They shouldn't have to do any additional work. So uh, in, in the ideal product, if I send my family a photo, that becomes a part of their timeline and all of their memories are connected to the conversations that those photos came from. And if I have all this media that I've captured that other people have shared with me, then I want to be able to browse that around real-world context. So when was it, where was it, who was I with, and what were we doing? And I want to be able to look at my photos organized around those specific experiences and to be able to recall an experience very quickly using any of those different aspects. So there's an aspect of aggregating all your media into one library, making it organized by context, and making it easy to connect within a specific social group to exchange media, when it's not appropriate to do that on a larger, uh, with a larger audience. 